Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we are here in the official Dragster TV headquarters here, as you guys can see. And we have quite the upgrade to go over today. Uh, first things first, I just want to say thank you so much to Five Fine for reaching out to me and sending me their newest microphone here that they're selling on Amazon. I do have it up there right now. Uh, somewhere about a year ago or so, I believe, Five Fine reached out to me. They wanted to see if I was down to do a video reviewing, and uh, unboxing and reviewing their newest microphone at the time that they were selling on Amazon, which was their T683 here. And uh, I've been a pretty happy user of it for about a year now. Came with a boom arm, it was a nice little kit with the shock mount and stuff. Overall, really nice microphone, and I've been using it to make all my videos since they sent it to me. But very recently, they did reach out to me, and they asked me if I'd like to do a video on their newest microphone, which is the Five Fine K651. And here it is. We've just gone ahead and got it in here. We're gonna go over the box, and we're gonna head downstairs where I have a better recording setup, because there's not much room here. And we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna see what it comes with. We're gonna set it all up, get a nice view of it, go over everything that's on it, all the features and overall how it sounds. We're gonna do a sound test. So if you guys are ready for all this, stick around and leave a like if you do enjoy this video. But we're gonna hop straight into the unboxing here. Might just head on downstairs to do the unboxing, but let's go over everything that's on the box here. All right, guys, first things first. Now this is a big thing that is advertised with this K651 microphone and that it is RGB. If you guys could not already tell, pretty big fan of RGB. Got LEDs around my room and made sure to get a PC with lots of light up fans. So big fan that this microphone will just be another little light up touch to the setup. Here on the box, it says Ample Rocket, says variable RGB lighting, sensitive quick tap mute, and cardioid dynamic mic. It says top address dynamic microphone, then here again it says Ampler Rocket. Then it lists the many uses you can use this thing for. This side of the box here it does just say Five Fine. And it says where it was manufactured. Very back of the box here does say everything it does include. It includes the dynamic microphone, the USB-C to USB cable for the microphone, the shock mount, cable for the shock mount, the boom arm, and the desk clamp. Now this is what I'm really excited to get into and find out is if the boom arm is the exact same as this one. I'm assuming it's not, but if it is, I'm going to be a big fan of it because this thing has been really sturdy since, uh, you know, my desk, it's not really ideal for game sets. It's really deep. It's not wide this way. So I did have to put, it has just solid legs. It doesn't really have solid legs, just as you guys can see here, this is the legs. So I did have to drill this little piece of wood in, in order to get this on. But overall, the clamp has worked really well on the piece of wood. And overall, the boom arm has just been really sturdy. And the microphone stayed in place. And overall, just works really well. And I've overall been a really big fan of it. So I'm super excited to hop straight into everything that's in the box. We're going to go ahead and hand downstairs now. I'm going to set you guys up. Then we're going to get into the unboxing. Catch you guys when I'm downstairs. Alrighty guys, we're now downstairs. After the unboxing, I would like just to say that we're gonna head on upstairs, we're gonna get it all set up, and then we're gonna get into the, uh, number one, the recording test, see how it does sound overall, and then we'll get into the special features, such as the RGB, the quick mute button right there, and a couple other minor things. So we're gonna go ahead and check it all out, but first things first, let's get into exactly what is inside the box. Alrighty guys, so here we are. So the first thing we do see here when we do open up the box is we do get our little quick start guide here, or the user's guide is called, as you guys can see. It tells us everything we need to know about it, and it opens like this. So pretty convenient, pretty cool. We may need that in a little bit if we can't figure it out ourselves. And now we have multiple different boxes to get into. Slide out, let's see what this one here is first. Let's find where we can open this. I believe it'll just slide out right here. There we are. Now this is going to be the shock mount. And you guys may be wondering why the shock mount. If you guys did listen when I was going over everything uh, that on the back of the box, it does mention everything that is included. And you guys may have seen where it does say, where it did say a plug-in for the shock mount. And that is because there's RGB on the shock mount. You don't have to plug it in, but if you do want the full experience of the microphone, uh, you know, just to make it a little bit more cooler, and just because it's there, the RGB, 
then you might want to plug it in, but you don't absolutely have to. And that's the plug-in right there, the USB Type-C. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty modern. Got a Type-C plug. Uh, but yeah, that's the shock mount. Uh, let's get into this one next. I believe this is the microphone. Got to remember to keep this in frame here. Uh, is it? I believe so. And it is. So here's our microphone. Just the quick. It's not a button this time, so that's actually pretty cool. I like to know. I'm guessing there's an in care light as well, but I like to know like that. I could feel a click, and I knew that I clicked the mute button, but. Uh, like a sensor, you know, more modern style, just like hardly touch it, and then you know you'll be muted. Uh, that's pretty cool as well, too, pretty more modern and newer, so see that. But yeah, there's the microphone, I'm gonna really get it out here for you guys. Pretty compact, pretty small, as you guys can see, it's simple, I like it. Also, guys, it did not say on the box, however, in the description of the microphone itself on the Amazon listing, it does say that you do not need a pop filter for this because there's uh, one built in. So that's pretty cool. And you can see the little smiley face there, which is advertised in all the pictures and stuff and on the box. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna put this back here, set on top. Move on to, there's two little boxes here. I like how they set up this box as kind of like your own little assembly thing. So let's get into the first one here. I don't know if this was on the top or the bottom, but. All right, so we got our two cables here, USB-C to USB, and there's both of them. That is what is in uh, this box here. For this box, let's see, we can open it back here. Didn't mean to rip it, that thing. First box we ripped. That's all right, though. And what is this? This is going to probably be the clamp. All right, pretty self-explanatory. got a clamp. And then last but not least, this big old box here. Save the best for last, biggest for last. Here's our boom arm. Comes out just like this. And there we are. Here's what it looks like. And there may be a slight difference, but I believe this is the exact same one I do have already up there. But just because it's new, and I'm not 100% sure if they're the exact same, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one up anyway, instead of just uh, pull a fast one and keep the old one up, because there's a chance that they may be a little bit different. Alrighty guys, now with everything out of the box, we're going to go ahead and head on upstairs and get it set up onto my setup and put up uh, exactly how I'll use it. And uh, then we'll get into the features, the sound test, and I know that's probably the part you guys have been waiting for. So here's everything that's in the box. We're going to go ahead and move upstairs and get it all set up and get in sound test and all that. So I'll catch you guys at that. Alright guys, we are upstairs now. Just thought I'd go ahead and take a quick little look at the quick start guide. This is everything you'll be seeing in it. Uh, pretty much what's in the box, and then they get into the assembly, which I've already assembled this before, so should be pretty straightforward, and I'll make sure to take you guys along for the whole thing. And it shows the setup, how to plug in, and how the mute works and whatnot. So, you know, it's a pretty nice, well-put-together user start guide, so I just thought I'd show you guys what it is. But now onto the assembly of the microphone. All right, guys, now on to the assembly here. We're gonna get done with the boom arm first. We're gonna get it all set up. Then we'll put the shock mount on it. But for mounting the boom arm itself to the clamp, it's pretty self-explanatory. Really, all you need to do with it is back off this just a little bit because it's in just a little bit tight. You just wanna make sure that the whole, this thing goes through it completely. Uh, they put it in just a little bit tight just so it doesn't fall out, you know? So make sure you can see through it. I'll not actually see through, but make sure you don't see this in the way. And I'm just gonna back off just a little bit more. Now I can see to the very bottom. Then you're gonna go ahead and pick up your boom arm very carefully and just slide in here. Fits pretty snug. Actually a different design, just a little bit different than the current boom arm I'm using. So just a little bit different design, a little bit more snug. So that's good to know. Then from here, you just go ahead and take this screw here and just tighten it down. You guys really don't have to get it that tight, just make sure it's not going anywhere and that it's in there pretty snug. Now on to the shock mount. So on it, this little sticker, for those of you guys that have been wondering, I myself have, it says this side up, pretty self-explanatory. So what side? Obviously it's gonna be this side up. Yeah, the microphone is gonna be through here and the LEDs are gonna be coming off the back. So your microphone will be right here and your LEDs will be coming off the back here. So. Should work for a pretty cool look. Now in order to mount the shock mount to your boom arm, go ahead and back this off just a little bit so you can turn it up here, just like so. 
And then you're going to want to back off this screw in order to turn it around this way. Then it's really just simple as screwing on your shock mount to your boom arm. Once you get a couple threads, go ahead and snug this down here on the boom arm. So you can go ahead and just pull this. Actually, you're gonna to wanna to tighten this one down as well, just make it snug so that it'll go on the threads. Then pretty much just get it nice and snug on there like so. Once you get it how you want it, go ahead and just back this off just a little bit so it can move. Just like so, there we are. Not too tight, not too loose. You can also back this one off as well. There we are, just give you a little bit more movement. Then next you take your clamp and you mount it to your desk. Out with the old, and there we are. And now in with the new. Now time to get the microphone on, get everything plugged in, then we'll get the monitor back in place, pull up OBS, and get to doing some voice tests, as well as checking out a couple of the features included with the microphone. The RGB is one of them, that's, that's a big part. As well as this little smiley face and the sensitive touch mute button. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up here for you guys. I'll catch you guys when I'm done. I've just gone ahead and gotten the microphone in. Just a quick look, you can see five fine there. You can see the sensitive, uh, not like an actual button, but it is a button. You just touch like that and that's the mute. And uh, when it's white, it shows that the microphone is on and I don't think it has anything for recording. But once you touch this, it'll turn red and then it will uh, let you know that you're muted. Uh, another thing I just would like to mention is that it's pretty cool that they do tell you, for anyone wondering, I know they are pretty much the same cord, but I think they might be different links. Uh, I'm going to be able to confirm that in just a moment. But one of them says for microphone, and then the other one says only for charging, and this is for the shock mount. Okay. And one of them is a blue tag, the other one is a red tag, and this was the this side up sticker, for anyone wondering. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get everything plugged in. And then we'll check out the RGB and stuff and then get into the features and the voice tests and stuff. So it should be fun. So far, definitely digging the look. Looks pretty sick. And I cannot wait to use this thing for my next video. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything plugged in, set up, and I'll catch you guys at that. Also, one more thing. Man, I'm just full of surprises today. This is a USB-C cable. A big thing I forgot to mention is that... Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with USB-C, they are the fastest, most powerful USB cable out right now. And just in comparison to the old cable off of the, I believe it was called the T683. In other words, this microphone right here, the last one I was using. So quite the big difference and upgrade from this cable to USB-C. And it's a pretty important feature and upgrade, so I just thought I'd go ahead and mention that to you guys. Alrighty guys, and here we are. There is the RGB, man, that looks sick. Would you look at that? And then we got the LED indicator light here. Let's just go ahead and test out here. There we are, now we're muted. Simple another touch and we're back on. Look at this RGB, definitely a nice touch. And uh, you know, I didn't think it'd look this cool to be honest. I was like, you know what? It's something different, but I thought it would be like kind of cool. But man, I'm actually really impressed with it. It was just all about your preferences, but yeah, two cables coming out of the microphone now. We're going to go ahead and get those hidden in just a moment. But just thought I'd come on and show you guys real quick what it looks like before we hop onto the computer. After I get all this cleaned up and get the monitors moved back. And then we'll see how it looks in the setup. And we'll see how it works and sounds and stuff. And I do have another one of those uh, cover pop filters. But we're going to see if I need to use it or not. I don't think I will. But with the built-in one, um, so you don't. That's why it didn't come with one like these, as did my old one. So yeah, there is a built-in pop filter inside the microphone itself. But anyways, guys, we're going to now get everything cleaned up, and then I'll catch you guys when I'm on my computer for a sound test. I'll go through all the features. We already went over the mute and stuff, and really the RGB just changes and does its own thing, so that's pretty cool. I'm also going to go ahead and get all my wires hidden and stuff, so I'll catch you guys when I'm on my computer, and we have all this cleaned up. Alrighty guys, here we are. We are on OBS now. Hold on. We are on OBS now. Forgot since I got two monitors and I keep OBS on the second one over here to my left. You guys couldn't see it. But anyways, here it is on max volume. It's about this far. Hold on. Yeah, something like that. It's it's not too far from my from my face. And it's 
it's way closer than the other microphone was to my computer. The fans aren't that loud, but the last microphone sure did pick them up. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little sound test. I mean, just sitting back, not talking or anything. And also, I just found something out as I did turn my uh, webcam there. You guys can see the little smiley face indicator too on if I'm muted or not. So that the stream can see if I'm muted or not. So that's pretty cool. Well, and then boom, we're back to white. So yeah, there are two different smiley faces, one on each side. So that's good to know. And then you guys also get a great view. This webcam doesn't pick up the best, but of course my eyes get the better view of the uh, cool cycling dynamic RGB there. So, so this thing is pretty nice. So this is the sound test, uh, the, you know, the normal sound test a lot of people do is Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, right? So I'm going to get up real close to the mic, not too close, right? Peter Piper, one second. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. About yay far from the microphone, not too far, not talking too loudly, and there's the test for the built-in pop filter. Honestly, I think it works pretty well. Now, of course, depending on what computer or device you're going to be using this microphone on, there are many different settings you can go inside of your PC, inside of your device, and switch up with this thing. But I'm just showing you guys, you know, the sound test, how it sounds, how it looks, the whole setup, the unboxing. So that was my part for today's video. Thank you so much, Fifine. Thank you so much. This is the second time working with you guys where you guys sent me the product. A lot of you guys don't know this, I actually started out, I need to look up what it was. It's a really popular starter mic, 20 bucks on Amazon. I got it right when I started YouTube, after I got my first 1,000 subscribers, I was making a little bit of money off YouTube. I was like, you know what, I should probably make, you know, a set gaming set. So my first mic I went with was a Fifine, it was a T something. I still have it back there in my closet, you guys can see that door there. On a boom arm that did not come with it, and by the way, might I say, these boom arms that Fifine does provide with their microphone kits are way better quality than the pretty expensive boom arm I do have back there in my closet with the first ever microphone that I did get from Fifine. So I'm very happy that this is the second time that they have sent me a microphone to review to you guys. Make sure if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you guys would like to pick one of these up for yourselves, link to it will be down below in the description. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video and the new microphone. Thanks again to Fifine, and that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. And with that, guys, make sure you have an amazing rest of your night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.